Welcome to the world of finance where numbers reign supreme and your wallet, well, it's the crown jewel. Imagine a world where your money works for you instead of the other way around. Sounds like a fantasy, right? Well, dream no more because we're diving headfirst into the realm of personal finance management. It's a place where budgets are more than just boring spreadsheets and saving doesn't mean you're doomed to a life of ramen noodles. So buckle up, we're about to embark on a wild ride through the banking jungle. Now we all love money, don't we? But managing it, that's a whole other ballgame, so let's dive right in, shall we? Personal finance management, in its simplest form, is all about how you handle your money. It's the art juggling your income, expenses, savings and investments. It's like being a circus ringmaster. Only the lions are your bills, the trapeze artists are your savings, and the audience, well that's your future self, clapping or booing based on how well you perform. Imagine you're on a treasure hunt. You've got a map in one hand and a compass in the other. The map is your budget, showing you way to the treasure. The compass is your financial plan, guiding you in the right direction. And the treasure? That's your financial goals. A comfortable retirement, a dream home, or maybe a trip around the world. But here's the kicker. The map and compass are utterly useless if you don't know how to read them. Likewise, your budget and financial plan are pointless if you don't understand how to manage your finances. And that's where personal finance management comes in, like a trusty treasure hunting guide. Having a good grasp of personal finance management is crucial. It helps you make informed decisions about your money, allowing you to take control of your financial future. It's like having a cheat code in a video game, giving you the upper hand. And let's not forget about those pesky financial pitfalls, you know, the unexpected car repair, the sudden job loss, the unplanned medical expense. With, with a robust personal finance management strategy, you can navigate these challenges like a pro, turning potential disasters into minor inconveniences. So whether you're a financial rookie or a seasoned money manager, remember this. Personal finance management isn't just about counting pennies and saving bucks. It's about paving the way to your financial freedom, one dollar at a time. Remember, in this game, the goal isn't to, to score, but to save. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more financial wisdom. Imagine you're on a road trip with no map. That's your financial journey without a budget. Now that's not a trip many of us would want to take, right? So let's dive into the world of budgeting, your financial GPS that guides you towards your monetary goals. Think of budgeting as your friendly neighborhood traffic cop, directing your cash flow, ensuring it doesn't run amok, and guiding it to the right avenues. Budgeting is really all about understanding the money coming in and the money going out. It's like a detective novel where you're both the detective and the author. You get to follow the trail of your money to discover where it's going and then you write the ending. Let's break it down. Imagine your income is a pie. Now who doesn't love pie, right? Well, this pie has to be divided into different slices. Housing, groceries, utilities, entertainment, savings, and so on. Each slice represents a category of your expenses. The trick is not to let one slice get too big, or else you'll find yourself with a disproportionate pie, and nobody wants that. The goal is to make sure every slice is just the right size to ensure a balanced financial diet. Now, don't fret if your pie looks a bit wonky at first. It's like baking, it takes some time to get it right. But once you do, you'll find that you're more in control of your dough. Pun absolutely intended. Budgeting doesn't mean you have to miss out on the fun things in life. It's about making informed decisions. Kind of like choosing between a roller coaster and a merry-go-round. Both are fun, but one might make your pockets feel a little lighter. Remember, budgeting is not about restriction. It's about freedom. The freedom to make choices, the freedom from financial stress, and the freedom to reach your goals. So buckle up, grab your financial map, and start planning your journey. You're the driver, and with a budget, you have the power to steer your finances in the direction you want. So, get that GPS ready, we've got a journey to plan. Saving money isn't about stashing every penny, it's about knowing when to hold back, just like when you resist that extra slice of cake. Now, everyone loves a good piece of cake, right? But imagine if that cake is your paycheck. Each slice you take is an expense. The bigger the slice, the bigger the expense, and before you know it, your cake, I mean your paycheck, is all but a crumb. That's where the art of holding back comes in. Think of saving as a game of tug of war. On one end you have your desires pulling you towards that shiny new gadget or that vacation you've been dreaming of. On the other end you have your future self, tugging you back reminding you of the security and peace of mind that comes with a healthy savings account. The trick is to find the right balance, 
It's not about denying yourself all pleasures, it's about making conscious choices. It's about asking yourself, do I really need this? Or, can I find a more affordable alternative? It's about prioritizing your needs and wants and sometimes it's about saying no to yourself. Remember, every dollar saved is a dollar earned. But how do you make this process less daunting? Well here's a tip, start small. Even saving just 10% of your income can make a significant difference over time. And guess what? The more you save, the easier it becomes. It's like a muscle that gets stronger with exercise. Also, consider automating your savings. Out of sight, out of mind, right? By setting up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings account, you're less likely to dip into your savings for non-essential spends. And finally, make saving fun. Set goals and reward yourself when you reach them. Maybe it's a weekend getaway or a fancy dinner. The point is, saving doesn't have to feel like a punishment. It's a step towards financial freedom. So next time you see that extra slice of cake, remember your wallet needs a diet too. Ever wished your money could multiply like rabbits? Well, investing might just be the magic trick you're looking for. Investing, my dear friends, is a bit like planting a tiny seed in your garden. You water it, give it sunlight, and over time it grows into a magnificent tree bearing fruits year after year. Just replace the seed with your money, the watering and sunlight with patience and smart decisions, and voila! You've got yourself a money tree. But let's clear up a common misconception first. Investing isn't just for the super rich who bathe in gold coins. Nope, it's for everyone. Yes, you heard right, everyone. The beauty of investing is that it's not about how much money you start with, but how long you let it grow. Time is your biggest ally when it comes to investing. So how does this magical money multiplication work? Well, it's all thanks to a magical concept called compound interest. This is the secret sauce that allows your money to grow exponentially over time. Think of it as a snowball rolling down a hill, getting bigger and bigger as it picks up more snow. But hold your horses, investing isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. It requires patience, research, and sometimes, a bit of guts. There are different types of investments, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, real estate, and the list goes on. Each comes with its own set of risks and rewards, so it's crucial to understand what you're getting into. Now before you dive headfirst into the world of investing, remember the golden rule, never put all your eggs in one basket. Diversification, or spreading your money across different types of investments, is key to managing risk. And remember, investing is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's like a tailored suit, it has to fit you perfectly. Your investment strategy should align with your financial goals, risk tolerance, and time horizon. So, take your time, do your homework, and be prepared to learn and adapt. So, are you ready to turn your money into your very own magic trick? Good, because it's time to pull some rabbits out of your financial hat. We've navigated through the banking jungle, planned our journey, and even learned some magic tricks. Now, as we wrap up this adventure, let's take a moment to reflect on what we've discovered. We've demystified the world of money, understanding it as a tool, not a goal. We've explored the concept of budgeting, our financial GPS that keeps us on track and prevents us from getting lost in a sea of impulse buys and uncontrolled spending. Then we delved into the art of saving, the practice of holding back, of prioritizing our future over immediate gratification. We've seen how it can cushion us from life's unexpected twists and turns and provide a foundation for our financial security. And let's not forget the magic part, investing. We've learned how to make our money work for us, to multiply and grow and to build a lasting legacy. But remember, this is just the beginning. This journey, your finance journey, is a lifelong adventure. It's about making conscious choices, taking calculated risks, and continuously learning and adapting. It's about transforming your relationship with money, and ultimately, taking control of your financial destiny. So. What are you waiting for? It's time to roll up your sleeves, dive in, and start your personal finance management journey. And as you embark on this exciting adventure, remember, you're not alone. Now here's a question for you. If you could invest in anything right now, what would it be and why? Let's get the conversation started in the comments below. And before we go, we have a small request. If you found this video helpful, please hit a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This not only supports our channel but also ensures you won't miss out on any future adventures in the world of finance.